Hello, welcome back to 16-bit, play bit by bit. I'm your host Dave, and this video will contain occasional swearing. This is episode one of Let's Play Secret of Evermore. I had put this game relatively far down on my list to do, uh, because this guy I follow on, on, on YouTube, you know, sometimes Snez Drunk, his videos are quite good. Um, he was quite disparaging about this game, so it's like just a bit of a, um, a bit of a poor loan of Secret of Mana that was made by Square of USA without the involvement of Square of Japan, and like it really shows. He said, like, the hit detection is really bad. Well, that's really ropey. Um, but a couple of people have asked me to do it and have quite fond memories of it. So I'm, and, and I have played certainly part of the way through it before, and I remember enjoying it. So why not? I can, I can put up with a bit of, uh, I can put up with a bit of dodgy gameplay if the story's strong as well. And I hear the story is quite good. Uh, so anyway, we'll just I'm going to play through it and see how it goes. Um, like in Secret of Mana, the protagonist has no default name. Um, apparently in some of the screenshots in the manual he's called Buzz, which sounded like quite a good name for, him, for the character that he is. So I'm going to stick with that. Okay, Podunk USA. Full night. Liking this opening music. Adventures of Loxley. Okay, so we are in small town America in black and white. An experiment is about to conclude. History. The twist of a knob here and the flip of a switch here. And it is not right. Oh dear. Thirty years later. What a classic. My favourite part was the battle with the slime beast in the toxic swamp. You can hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old ties in a garden hose. Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home. Dog's chasing a cat. Bees. Now where did he go? Ah, the door is open. Better take a look inside. That's a good plan. There you are. No, I think that cat is long gone. Hey, where are you going? Yikes. Thanks for that. I like it. I like this. It's using the limitations of the medium. A bit like to its advantage here. Balloon, a mummy, and a chainsaw. Ah, wall panel's kind of loose. Wow, I think we found some sort of secret entrance. I was using the fact that you couldn't see inside the building to uh, just leave it up to your imagination. That's quite cool. Looks like... Oh, shit. Okay, you said it looks like the plasma cannon from some movie you've seen. Like, obviously a big beat movie, beat movie but quite like... We should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong. Hey, don't chew those wires. <laughs> Whoa. just turned into several different dogs and disappeared. And look, I'm, I'm happy enough with a game that starts with a teleporter accident, that's good. 
What have we here? An intruder, I fear. That was some blast. Whoa, who are you? That's not important. Got to get you out of here. He looks like they are not from Kingdom Hearts. I don't trust him already. Not have you meddle with meddling with the professor's experiments. Who's that, Keltron? Do we have a visit, a visitor? It's no one, no one at all. Continue with your work, Professor. I think he's going to throw us out of the garbage chute. Zooka, Jesus. Okay. Who with that? What's the result? Robots? about this game is correct and we could not have this bazooka for very long. Hey, I think this is some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops, there goes the control panel. Jeez. Okay, I'm liking this protagonist character. I like that he's just like... I like that he's kind of an idiot. Some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are shot. Where am I anyway? Where's my dog? Hey, buddy. Hey, pupster. Where are you, boy? Whoa. Dog's turned into a beast. Hmm. If you're really my dog, I'll fetch the stick. Okay, go get it. Any dog would do that. Well, this isn't the stick, but it'll do. Come on, buddy, let's look around. Metal. Wow, dog just took six damage. Not cool. Uh. Oh, we've lost. We've lost the thing from um, Secret of Mana where the menus are different colours. That's annoying. I'm going to assume that like... I think we 
should put the dog. We should put the dog on like minimum pressure. Oh, no, with this, it's like secret mana. Then going to be. Ow. Squished bug. Find something. Yeah, some boots. Water. So my dog's finding stuff. Materials. Things to healing with. I don't have any items or anything. Swords, axes, beers. Swords, axes, and beers. Okay. We've gone from eight types of weapon in secret manner. Eight? I think. Through there. Yeah, we've gone from eight types of weapons in secret mana to three. We do have multiple types of each one, apparently. So far, we've got a bone. Uh, it's fine, I guess. If he had found something, I couldn't find the right spot to stand to make it. Get out. Can't go through there. Looks like we can go through there, but we can't. Reaches level two. Okay, that's my method of healing at the moment. It's leveling up. Okay. 
15 tons. Let's support it. I remember why these items that I'm finding are basically like instead of MP. And um, they're in fairly short supply and you have to use them like a million times in order to level up magic that you get. So you end up not doing it. That's, that's my recollection. Okay, I think we'll find the boss. It's a dinosaur. Holy fucking shit, it's a dinosaur. Ow. Reaches level two. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Dead, right? Striking me away. Dog doing. Oh, okay. You're okay, kid. You took quite a beating out there. I guess I was meant to lose that fight. Well, what happened? Raptors got you. A tricky lot they are. Thanks to this wild animal here, you were saved. No wild animal? That's my dog. Just not himself right now. Well, now that you're both safe in our friendly village, you can save your game, okay? Yes, sure. Okay. Fire Eyes Village. Feel free to take items from the gourds in this village. You know that you'll return the favour, and you definitely need the help. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm going to empty all of your gourds. Hey lady. Why, that was quite a fight you had in the jungle. Be more careful. Bee? Name is Buzz. Sting you, Sting. My name is also Buzz. You'll find alchemy ingredients plenty if you search the village outskirts. But be careful. The place is packed with creepy creatures. Smash. There are many special items that you can bring along with you on your journey. Metals, nectar, and honey heal wounds and replenish energy. Get out of the way, please. I want to go in that building. I've been to Bugmuck in the east, and I've seen the giant bug. Maybe where Strongheart went to explore. And some roots. Plants water. Fire Eyes has taught us everything we know. I've learned basket weaving, bird calls, and the metric system. Metric system. Awesome fruit hat. Hello, traveller. I'm the source for goods in this village. What can I do for you? Oh, 
I've got, oh right, talent to the currency. I've got 101. Buy petals for uh, healing. Max out on healing. That's all you sell, yeah? Water, fat roots, water. Alchemy is the practice of combining ingredients for powerful and often magical results. My family has used alchemy for many generations. Alchemy affects increasing strength when you use formulas often. Formulae. But I'll let him off because he's from prehistoric times. An adventurer must have shielding out in the field, ideal and strong armour. For you indeed. Well, I can't afford any of it. Disappointing. for talons. Where's Fire Eyes? Fire Eyes is running the show around here. This is the heart of our leader. Please show Fire Eyes your respect. Okay, we'll do. Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes, Fire Eyes. Fire rice, fire rice. That is a little girl with glasses. Oh hi, my name's Elizabeth. Everyone around here calls me Fire Eyes. Uh, hi, Buzz is my name. Well, Buzz, step into my hut and talk. I heard that you had quite a fight in the jungle. Is that the wild beast that saved you? Yeah, but he's not a wild beast. My dog. His name? His name is... Okay, well again, no default name. So I'm going to name the dog uh, after dog in good omens and in a very real sense, all dogs everywhere. Dog. Dog, that's original. You're not from around here, are you? I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. You're on Evermore, in my prehistoric village. I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Podunk from here, would you? Podunk? Ah, oh, interesting. Fight. Maybe we can work something out. How'd you like to make yourself useful around here? New village alchemist Strongheart has wandered off to the bug muck in the east. He's been searching for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help him get back to the village, I will help you with whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leaf Meldrock says in Mars Needs Lumberjacks, I'm ready for anything. Before you go, I'd like for you to have an alchemy formula that I've developed. I call it Flash. It's pretty powerful against mean creatures. Thanks. Kind 
biscuit. Okay, well, we need wax and oil. to wander far from the village, but I've heard about a place where there are lots of bugs and tar. Father Strongheart went there days ago and hasn't come back. Oh, we're going to go looking for him. Cool. Brother Strongheart told me he was going to look for the big bug in the bug mark. There may be rare alchemy ingredients hidden in the bug skeleton. Would you like to purchase ingredients? No! Don't have enough money for the armor yet. Buying your stupid alchemy ingredients. the hut where I could save. Good. Yes, please record my progress. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and start looking, I'm going to start poking around out in the bug mark. I'm not going to go too far, then I'm going to come back to save because I, I'm not, I'm not going to have time to do all of the bug mark stuff. How many talents have I got? 91 talons. Do I get talons every time I get something, kill something? Yeah, I do. Two talons for killing that flower. Okay. Yeah, we need to grind. Big time. We need to grind for XP and we need to grind for talons. Cool with it, I can do some grinding. It's cool. That's what the game requires. We'll do. So that snare strength guy is right in that the, the combat is a bit of a substandard version of Secret Mana. Hit detection isn't as good. Not as satisfying in general. Um, but that's a very high bar. Secret Man, it was a really good game. Uh, and it's not awful, but it's perfectly, it's perfectly playable. I'm not just like swinging and missing constantly. In fact, it's quite good. Um, whoa. There's definitely going to be more grinding involved, I think. Although, in my playthrough of Secret of Mana, I did quite a lot of grinding purely because I've got quite a poor sense of direction. And ended up going back and forth quite a lot, so. Yeah. But it, even so, right? The, the gameplay's not quite as good. Fine. I'm intrigued by this story, way more so than I was with Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana was like. Okay, you're in a fantasy world and there's a bad guy and defeat him because you're the cherished man if you've got the magic sword. Whereas in this, I'm like, I'm like, I'm a guy who likes movies. Yeah, I'm a guy who likes movies. I've been accidentally teleported into a prehistoric land. My dog has transformed. Um, there's a little girl here who's also in the real world. I want to know what's going on. 
this, you know, this to me is much more interesting story than Secret of Mana was. happening on my stats. Well, I've got 283 talents, so that's going great. Uh, what else? About my bone level. 33 XP on my bone. Th sorry, 31 XP on my bone so far. Whoa! Oh no. not want to do that. But I don't suppose that will take me back, will it? Okay, good, because I don't want to be... I don't want to be get, getting into a whole thing right now. Like Jack McCoy said in the Invasion of the Mole People, stay focused and watch your step. I'm liking his... Um, I'm really into B-movie stick. I think it's quite good. It's a really simple thing they've done to like make him a distinctive character. And they obviously had quite a lot of fun writing the dialogue for it as well. I'm just gonna what, so I'm gonna fight my way back to the village, see how much of that equipment I can afford. Leveling up nice and fast. That's good. Just want to be a bit less squishy before we get to this boss. Yeah, I, I bought my petals up to four because I was assuming it was Secret of Mana and I could only hold four. Not true. Six. that you have to be right on the right spot in order to find in order to pick up the items is going to get old faster okay right so we're back in the village and not the shop here
wax is my problem. And the, and the oil, not to be honest. Fire eyes. Here somewhere. You're the armor person. You just give me a grass vest. Cool. Okay. They'd be buying a grass vest, that's cool. Um. Whip. Grass vest. Okay. That's cool, and I was about to go into a different hut and buy a grass vest. You the guy who sells stuff. Yes. Let's buy items. Right, so I've already got the grass vest. Another collar, that's for the dog. Okay, right, let's buy the grass hat. And then I could buy... I could buy the vine bracelet, or I could buy the collar for the dog. as well. Can I sell the pels that I've got? I'm finding tons of pels out there. No, I can only sell equipment. The equipment person. I probably need to sell items to the item person. the item shop and there's no indication from outside any of the buildings as to what they are because they're just huts Excellent. So, petals are worth seven. Oh, biscuits are worth 25. Petals are worth seven. I've got six, so I could make 42 tons out of that. I could sell my dog biscuit. So I'm a one nectar. I think if I sold all my items. might have enough for that vine no I wouldn't have enough for the vine bracelet it was 180 okay leave it leave it let's go back out grind for more stuff probably at the start of next episode uh, I just need to find in there 
this, isn't it? Hello, friend. Welcome to my inn. No, I do not want to pay you ten times to rest because I am all good. But I do want to record my progress. Over over this game. Yes. Cool. See you later. Right. Yeah. First impressions. Uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, really. Um, yeah, gameplay-wise, it's a bit of a substandard version of Secret of Mana, but that's a very high bar. Secret of Mana played very, very well for a game that came out in 993. Um, graphically, it's not quite as strong, but it looks pretty good. Um, sound isn't very exciting yet. It's just been it's just like prehistoric, prehistoric drumming in the background. But I think we saw in the opening, there's they definitely did have strong people working on the sound design so we'll see how it progresses as the game goes on uh, I like the character, I like the fact I've got a massive dog um, and I am I like that there's an, a big element of mystery to the story whereas uh, that against Secret Manor, Secret Manor is a very straightforward trad fantasy uh, so I'm curious as to see, see how this goes and I'm, I really enjoyed playing it so far, it's great so I hope that you've enjoyed watching along too and I'll see you next time.